And yes, yeah, it was a close call. In the end, you didn't make it. Disappointed or proud? Um, disappointed and proud. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of how we rode as a team also and for myself, for my shape today and uh, disappointed of course and of, of the end, but yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> How was it in that group um, and when did you start believing it could actually happen that you make it to the finish? I mean, Emma Emma made it even. Yeah, I was like mentally prepared for a hard day and uh, I knew that we can we can go for until the end. And uh, I had a lot of motivate from the car and uh, support. And also, Ricarda gave us a lot of uh, motivation yesterday. So, yeah, I was faulty until the end. And what went through your mind when 500 meters to go, Emma went even harder and you just couldn't follow anymore? Yeah, I was blow up. <laughs> I give my all. And also, like, she was sitting on my wheel, 1K to go. I was giving full gas. <laughs> Why do you think it's that it is always so close at this Tour de France between the breakaway and the peloton? The peloton wants to sprint, but then always comes very late. Is there a special feeling in the peloton that they're, that some teams are not working, or why? Why is that? What do you think? I, now it's everything about the tactic, radio, and the, we have a lot of information about from the car, and uh, they. They tell us like uh, how fast we have to ride to catch the group or uh, what we have to do, and yeah, yeah, it's like this. <laughs> it's more because of the info. Thank you very much. Thank you.